Hey folks, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, back with another video already. And this video is about lies. And I know we've all told lies in our lives. And um, uh, how it affects others, how it affects ourselves, how it affects our walk with God. Um, firstly, I just want to get this out the way so nobody is thinking I'm some perfect person, which I am not. Um, prior to my walk with Christ, I was a big liar. Like... I wouldn't lie just about the small, about little things, because little things actually turn into big things. You know what I'm saying? So starting off with like small lies, manifested to bigger lies, and I just started believing my own lies. And that's how, that's what builds a characteristic of a liar. Starts off small, I can get away with this, and then it goes on to medium lies, and it goes on to a, a large amount of lies in which you actually start believing them. And that's when it becomes really, really dangerous. Um... And you can actually turn to a pathological liar. When it comes to lying, think of it this way. What is it that you are doing that's making you lie? That's making you not want to tell the truth? You know, when we deal with things falsely, when we're not handling our business the way we're supposed to, we tend to want to cover up what we know it's not right, but we ignore it by lying, by telling a lie. That's why we start believing our lies, y'all. It's, it's really that deep. You know, it's the same, likewise, when we pick politicians, you know, who you want in the office, who you want as your city council member and whatnot, they tell you certain things to get in. And then once they get in, it's not the same story what they told you, you know, to, to earn your vote, right? So it's the same thing, you know, lying destroys society. It destroys the human race altogether. Because nobody likes to be lied to. You know, we tell lies ourselves, but nobody likes to be lied to. You know, you're in a relationship with somebody and, uh, you know, y'all plan on getting married and you find, you know, a number in your girl's phone or something, you know, with some uh, message that don't, that don't, that's not right. You know what I'm saying? And then you ask her about it and she's lying to your face and you, hey, I just read this message, you know, vice versa. With the ladies, we know you find something in your man's phone and, and it's a female and she's talking about something raunchy. And then you address your man about it and he's like, oh, that ain't in my phone. you like, I just read that. You know, lying just to cover up the obvious and it ruins everything, it ruins everything. And only the Lord can set us free from, from the lying spirit. But I want to go into some scripture about lying. And firstly, I want to start off um, with, uh, how lies came about, where does lies come from and, uh, the influence that they have on our lives and others and our walk with Christ. So I'm going to start reading from John chapter eight, verse 44. So this is about where lies come from. John eight, verse 44 says, Jesus says, ye are of the, your father, the devil and the lust of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. So, you know, we get caught up with lying. The Bible tells us exactly where lies come from. You know, the devil, he's, he's a liar. He, fooled Adam and Eve in the beginning in the book of Genesis chapter 3 in which they were already equipped with the knowledge of God and what he instructed them to do. He tricked them into believing they can eat from uh, the tree of uh, the knowledge of good and evil. They ate from it. It was a lie. He told Eve a lie. She got to tell Adam a lie. And that's what caused destruction. The devil is the father of lies. So that's, the, uh, that's where lies come from. It's, it's lying is a, a spirit. Okay. Lying is a spirit. Uh, secondly, I want to speak on falsehood and how um, lying affects not just ourselves, but others as well. And I'm going to read from Ephesians chapter four, verse 25. And it reads, wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. So that means... To be honest, if we could be honest with ourselves, we could be honest with other people. 
to put away falsehood because like I said, um, I really believe, you know, lying ruins and relationships lies. and that builds a pathological liar. There's a pattern of lies on which you believe and it's hard for you to tell the truth because lying can become embedded in us if we allow it to, you know. Thirdly, I want to talk on uh, walking in integrity. Walking in integrity. And this is from the book of Proverbs 19 and 9. It reads, A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. So, you know, when we tell these lies, I don't know about y'all, but I can only speak for myself. I dealt with consequences and... You know, prior to my walk with Christ, I didn't understand. I just thought things happened to me, just happened just because. But uh, there are definitely consequences to lying. And I can say that I was a huge liar in which it affected not only my walk with Christ. I didn't have a walk with Christ. I didn't believe in him. But it affected me. It affected other people as well. Um, so, yeah, the Lord taught me how to walk in integrity. And I remember like when I, shortly after I was saved, I couldn't, it, it's, my mind was so, it became so different, y'all. Like, it's no joke. You, you are renewed in Christ when you're born again. Um, just integrity. I noticed something different about me. Like, there was a, a integrity within me to where I, I wanted to be honest about everything. And it's still like that. Two years later, being saved, and I'm still with the grace of God walking in integrity. So yeah, that, that changed. I didn't know I was such a liar like that. Like I said, you get so embedded in your lies to where it's just, it's just who you are. And that's what's so dangerous about it. Some people can't stop lying if their life depended on it because they believe in their lies. They've been telling them for such a long amount of time and it becomes a part of who you are. So it's, it's a deep rooted thing. Lying is a deep rooted thing. I want to read on the book of Proverbs that uh, it's an abomination to the Lord, you know, as far as lying goes. And a lot, a lot of people, like myself, I used to didn't think it was a big deal because it's, it's just who you are. But uh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22 says, Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. Okay, lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. So it's not just any old little thing. Abomination is a big thing. So, um. Yeah, he gives us, the Lord equips us with with integrity on our walk with him, on our walk, you know, just w w building relationships with people in general, with ourselves, with him. Like, there is a change that comes, and that's walking in integrity. And that's one of the main things um, that the Lord had dealt with me on is walking in integrity. So I was a big liar, and I was embedded in that stuff, and I believed in my life. And um, there's a book in Psalms 119, this whole chapter here talks about walking in God's ways. I'm not exempt. So don't think I'm making this video because I'm just like this clean cut, perfect person and I'm not. And um, this is a great book right here in Psalms 119. I'm going to read from verse 29. It gets right into it. Um, it says, remove from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. In verse 30 says, I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. So this whole book of Psalms 119 is a prayer uh, to the Lord and how we can walk in God's ways. It's a prayer from David on, uh, you know, needing help to walk in God's ways because it's not easy. You know, we deal with things in this life and it's like, you know, we need that extra push. We need that that encouragement and it comes from the Lord. And he definitely does teach us how to walk in, in integrity. And he shows us why it's wrong. Um, it, and it's something about, like, after being saved, like, things that you were used to doing gets revealed to you as to why you should not partake in them. If that makes sense. If anybody else dealt with that out there, I'm not the only one. Don't leave me hanging. But uh, it gets magnified. Like, your sins, even, like, the small things, like I said, as far as lying goes, because that's one of the things that's like people don't think is a big deal, but it does affect us um, tremendously and it affects others and it affects our walk with God, most importantly. Um, but yeah, all my all the answers that we need to 
to live in life and, and, and having peace and having encouragement and discipline life is through Christ Jesus. And um, yeah, I need him desperately every day. I need the Lord desperately every day. You know, I deal with a lot of things and my mind, you know, could be here and there sometime, but I just pray and ask the Lord to help me. Because I'm, I'm in this walk too, y'all. And it is a def it's definitely a narrow path. Um, I think I'm going to do my next video on the, the broad and narrow path. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I want to talk about today was walking in integrity with the Lord and about lying. You know, it's such a small thing to a lot of us, but to the Lord is not a small thing. And he can help us. He can uh, help us to walk in integrity and live the way he intends for us to live, y'all. All right, that's all I have for today. Next video will be on the broad and narrow path. Hope you have a blessed day.